Hi there, GamesPowerCycleTrading.com. This video, I want to show you a trade setup that we did today. Uh, uh, this was also an alert trade sent out to our text alert members, but this was on Visa. So we were looking for different areas that showed strength versus, you know, the weakness that we're currently seeing. And so uh, the payment sector, you know, has a little bit of strength here. So Visa and MasterCard. But uh, the thing that uh, looks good here is if you study the chart here, you can see Visa, it had that prior high up here to in the 1st of January uh, at about 2.20. And then it sold off really hard uh, and, and had this low in uh, about January 29th. It uh, pushed up here into a 3.82 retracement here, which I took off but into the 50. And then you can see how it bounced into the 6.18 retracement area and then just chopped. So it went up here, pulls back, went up here, pulls back, pulls back down into this area. And then today cracked and broke that 6.18 and had a nice close above it. So we've been watching this for the past few days. Now this also is what we call a volatility squeeze on the four hours. So this is what could potentially propel this to a bigger move over the next day or two, looking for the next target up here to around 2.20. So you can see the bottom chart here, the momentum on the uh, intraday. So from the two minute to the 10 minute, we had kind of negative momentum going in the close, but then you can see the 15 minute all the way to the four day had positive momentum. And here you can see that four hour squeeze where my pointer is. So we did this with a really uh, low definer trade, doing it with what we call a long call condor. So with this trade, two different ways you could have done it. You could have done it for this week's expiration or for next week's expiration. So next week's expiration, the 5 March, uh, set this up at uh, $69. So that's the maximum risk. You know, if everything was to go straight down to the south side of the market or up, this thing can only lose $69 per spread without any kind of adjustment. Now, next week on the 5th, if it closes up here between the short strikes of the spreads, it'll make $181 per spread and that's over about 260% return. So that's one, or you could do it for this week to get a bigger pop for this week. And that was, uh, you know, going out right here, you could do, do the uh, condor for this week, $80 at risk and, uh, you know, potential for 170 and you can see it went out today uh, up. So those are the kind of trades that we're trying to identify. Uh, these types of trades that have good momentum to look at the basic chart pattern for a breakout and then secure the trade using a very defined risk option trade, which also takes advantage of theta decay. And this is also, I forgot to mention, this has a positive theta type trade setup, which is very, very uh, important in this kind of market as well if the market's churned. So you can see we've got a positive theta of $1.28. If you'd like to learn more about these types of trades, uh, please make sure to join us at PowerCycleTrading.com. Good luck trading.